What's up, everybody? Welcome. Kind of doing a video on our post effects that we use um, and the graphic settings that I use, trying to show you guys kind of the difference that it makes in the actual game. Um, now, the main reason I went about doing this is like I used to run maps like Interchange and Reserve where those dark corners get really, really bad. And I could never see anybody that was shooting at me. So I did a bunch of research and I found that these post effects that I'm going to show you are the best that I can find and that I use to kind of lighten those areas up without it being too bright when you get into those big sunshine areas. So what we're looking at here is uh, just general settings. Now these may change based on the graphic card you have. So if the graphics card you have is having a hard time keeping up, just start reducing stuff down a little bit. Um, you don't want tons of shadows. You don't want... You do want some clarity, but the shadows will really screw you up. Um, I do leave my anti-analyzing on. Some people turn it off to try to help it. I find it actually looks better with it on. So, um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you make sure your, your texture quality is on high. You want to be able to see the actual details of what's going on. Somebody runs a corner, you don't want to see him looking like a blob. You want to see, oh, I can see these four pixels of his head. Let me shoot him there. Um, shadow quality low. We don't want those shadows getting in the way of people kind of moving around corners and stuff like that. Um, you don't want this big dark shadow. You can't see the guy that's going to pop you in the head. Um, uh, your object quality, you leave it at 2. Overall visibility, go to 2,000. You can go higher than that, but it can tax your CPU. Um, and it really doesn't help, to be completely honest. Um, it'll lower your frame rate down, so just leave it right at that 2,000 mark. Um, your shadow visibility, you still want to be able to see, like, see shadows, but you don't want it to over-encumber your system um, to where your FPS goes down, not allowing you to see things very well. So I leave that at 50. Anal Anti-analyzing, I believe it is defaulted at TAA. Um, so I left it at that. Resampling is 1x off. And then your HBAO, SSR, and your anastropic filtering all that turn it off um, you want your sharpness to go all the way down because we're going to actually adjust that in the post effects settings so what i'm going to do is i'll show you my actual post effects settings once we get through those last couple numbers and then um, i'll actually go into a offline match and show you exactly what it looks like um, <clears throat> but you want to leave your lobby at, uh, fps and your game fps is a max um, that way your graphics card can run as best it can to get you up to those levels. Um, so let's pop over to my post effects right now. Now I did a bunch of research on this and this is what I've found to be the best. Now you can tweak it as much as you want, obviously. This is a good starting point for everybody to kind of be able to see that clarity and the difference. And post effects changed the game for me a lot. So make sure that enable post effects is check marked. Um, your brightness, I leave it at 60. I've seen people go up to 100. Honestly, it hurts my eyes when you go out into the actual real world. So games or maps like Interchange, where you're going inside that building, you want to see into those dark stores. But then when you go outside, you don't want to have to stop, check your post effects, turn them down, just leave them right at the 60 mark. It works very well. Um, saturation, I don't touch. I leave that right at zero. Clarity, I push that thing all the way up to 100%. This is where we're going to adjust kind of the stuff that we pulled down in the graphics settings. It'll help bring that into focus. Um, the colorfulness, leave it 50. Uh, Luma sharpening, I do 80. And adaptive sharpening, I do 50. Now, this is where you can play around with it a little more. Maybe get it a little more clear on your end. But for my graphics card, the sharpening, it makes the game look really good without cluttering it too much to where it makes things slow um so then color grading you want to switch that to none i know it is defaulted on a different color set but because we're adjusting so much you want it to be at none intensity is at 50 which shouldn't matter since it's on none anyways and then your colorblind mode you want to be on none also intensity all the way down and that's that's the gist of the settings that i run personally um, I think the game looks great the way I have it, and it looks a lot more clear when we're in those dark areas. Like I said, I like Interchange a lot, so this has helped a lot with being able to see into those dark stores and not get camped out as much by rats. Um, so let me pop in here. We'll go into a offline game. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like. Um, I do stream on Facebook most weekdays from Tuesday to, to Friday. I'm on from 10 to 4. 
uh, Eastern time. And then on the weekend, usually I'll do a night stream. And there are some night streams fixed in there. So make sure you guys go. If, you, if this video helps you out, like, follow, check out the Weird Red Beard Facebook page. We're always doing something cool on there. But uh, make sure you guys check. I'd appreciate, I appreciate it a lot. All right. So we're loading the map up right now. We'll just take a quick peek. I'll show you guys how outside looks, how bright it is compared to normal and how it really doesn't affect you too much in terms of how bright that is. And then we'll go into the inside of the building real quick and uh, show you some stores that usually are pretty dark. Kind of like stores like sushi. When you're up top there, you get those different sunlight and the actual darkness. So you can see the difference from the regular game and how clear I can see in there now. I believe we can make it so that we can disable and enable it. So, uh, we don't need that. Sorry, we're in a couple of nighttime raids today. All right, so obviously, outside you can still clearly see down that street. It's all nice and open. Sun, sun's not blinding your eyes like crazy, which is great. Um, and then underneath, you can see a lot clearer. You see a lot of these, like, shadows to where if a guy was running there, you can still see that. Um, if we come in here, so this is with the post, post effects on, if we go into the settings and we take our post effects and disable them, okay, yes, we go in there, look how much darker this is, and unclear, a lot of shadows kind of murking it up a little bit, that truck, yeah, you can still see, but it's not as crisp as the other one, so we'll do this again, post effects, Go to visualize. And if you enable those posts, looks how much brighter that went. Dark to really bright. Um, allows you to see kind of like the stuff edges like here. You can see a lot more clear. It's a lot brighter. Um, let's target. It makes target acquisition so much easier. So that this kind of shows you the difference. And like I said, the lights aren't too overwhelming to where they're gonna blind your eyes when you walk outside because we can go from inside here and you can still see pretty well out there if we walk outside your eyes aren't gonna hurt you be nice and bright even with the sun going down it doesn't even look that bad so i'll show you guys some post effects out here too um let's do visualize so these are these are disabled this is enabled everything clears up doesn't look as gloomy makes everything look great so I figured I would show you guys that. Um, I hope this helped you. Uh, the stores look pretty similar to Underground, so it's kind of how I showed you that area. Um, go ahead, tinker with it. I hope those settings help. If they help, like I said, make sure you guys go to Facebook, hit that like, hit that follow button. Uh, we're here. We have a great community growing fast, growing fast. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and have you have a great day.